Well, hey guys, Jonathan Doyle with you once again. Welcome, my friend, as always, to The Daily Message. Please make sure you have subscribed. Hit that big subscribe button underneath here. Hit the notification bell. It does make a big difference as the channel grows. It's so exciting to have so many new people joining us. So if you're new or if you're a regular watcher who hasn't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and go and check out all the links under here in the description. You can get a free copy of my book. You can find out how to book me to speak, how to get me to come and work live at your organization. Go check it out. It's all there. So in the last few days, we have been uh, talking about the wisdom, the insights of the inimitable, one of my favorite words, inimitable, incapable of being imitated, the inimitable Marcus Aurelius, Roman emperor of the first century. Um, After we finish with Marcus, I've got a feeling it might be time to explore Aristotle's Nicomachean ethics. I didn't plan to turn this into a philosophy channel. I'm just... A classicist by heart. I think there is so much wisdom from the great men and women of antiquity and of the the modern era that we can share. So I want to keep bringing you the depth and the richness of stuff that I've had the pleasure of reading over many years. You know, do you know when my journey started? Like, you know, I was always a, as a kid, I always liked to read. I was always a big reader, but I was, um, I was at a dinner in Paris In 1994, it was New Year's Eve, and there was a person at this dinner party that recommended a book to me. The book was called Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance. I don't know if you've read it or heard of it. That book changed my life. It was the first really challenging book on philosophy that I'd ever read. It changed a lot of my thinking, and it set me on a journey of interest in difficult ideas and complex things. So you never know when a book or a person or a conversation is really going to change things for you. So that's kind of where my journey started, and that led to a whole bunch of study and postgraduate study. And even to this day, I find myself reading so much. And just yesterday, I was thinking, there's so much stuff that I read and think about but I never really talked to anybody about it. And I thought, what is the point of it? What is the point of learning all this stuff that I may never teach? And I think the benefit of learning and thinking and studying is that it just shapes our character, shapes who we are, shapes our perception of reality, the world around us, and then we we bring things forth from that. So anyway, that is where some of my journey began and where it's taken me. But today where Marcus Aurelius is going to talk to us about The significance of doing what's right in front of us. I've been saying for the last couple of weeks in almost every episode, we are an incredibly distracted culture. We live in this world of distraction. Uh, The economic model in which we we have been born into is one that is consumption-based, right? That the whole system depends upon consumption. So one of the ways that we are trained to consume, I think, is through distraction. We don't tend to think carefully about uh, some of the messages that are being presented to us. We're bombarded with all sorts of information, like YouTube videos, for example. A little irony there. But uh, this is a good YouTube channel. This is YouTube using its powers for good instead of evil. So this distraction, I think, keeps us from doing some of our best work. It's a, it stops us from really contributing sometimes to others. So today we're going to hear Marcus talk to us about distraction, about doing what's right in front of us and how we should do the things that are in front of us. So you ready? Let's jump in. Concentrate every minute on doing what's in front of you with precise and genuine seriousness, tenderly, willingly, with justice, and in freeing yourself from all other distractions. Yes, you can. If you do everything as if it were the last thing you were doing in your life and stop being aimless, stop letting your emotions override what your mind tells you, stop being hypocritical, self-centered, irritable. You see how few things you have to do to live a satisfying and reverent life. If you can manage this, that's all even the gods can ask of you. As always with Marcus Aurelius, my friends, there's so much in that, but let's just pick up the key themes Focus intently with tenderness, with justice, with with real conviction and commitment on what's right in front of you. Remove distractions. Realize the small number of things that you actually need to be doing to live a satisfying and reverent life. And he says, if we do that, then not even the gods themselves could ask any more of us. So all I want to say to you in today's short message is whether you are leading a country or leading a family, whether you have hundreds of employees or you work for yourself, 
Every single one of us is going to have stuff, something to do today. There'll be work that some of us have to do. All of us have to do. You might be in a factory. You might be in the home. You could be anywhere. But he's reminding us that the way forward in life is to do what's right in front of us diligently, passionately, committedly. Just keep doing those things as regularly, as passionately, as just simply as possible. I think we, I don't know about you, but I've lived at times in life with a huge future orientation. You worry about the future, you're planning for the future, you're striving towards the future. And often we can race through the things that are right in front of us. But he's saying a a good life. And remember, this is what the Stoics were really interested in. How do you live well? How do you live without too much uh, affectation and uh, frivolousness? How do you kind of just focus on what really matters? And he said it's in these daily things. So as you go through this next 24-hour block, if you're dissatisfied with where you are, then the way out of here is to do the things that are in front of you as well as you can reasonably do them, and then those things will change over time. I mean, you don't become a great leader without doing small incremental leadership tasks over time. You don't become a great painter, sculptor, brain surgeon, mother, father, husband, wife, factory worker, you know, farmer, without constantly executing and getting slowly better at the things that make up your daily work and your daily routines. So I think it's an invitation to just bring an increasing level of excellence into the things that are right in front of us. It matters that we just keep bringing the simple attention and focus that is so easily stolen from us. So every single day I get up, I do the podcast, I do this video. I can honestly tell you, I do try to make them better each time. I just try and add an extra thing or I spend a little bit more time in research. I just try to incrementally do these things well. Sometimes people are like, how do you do this every single day? Why don't you take some days off? Why don't you take a break? I'm like, because I was committed to this. I said that I'd do this and I feel strongly about it. That I want to keep showing up every single day and doing this and doing this. I remember an entrepreneur that I really admire. He's got a massive social media following you know, talking about when he used to get one view on a video and then two and then a hundred and then, you know, now millions. So this, it's like the snowball thing, right? You start that snowball at the top of the hill, it rolls down. And I just believe that if we keep doing those small things well each day, that the rest will take care of itself in time. That if we really try to bring excellence to what's right in front of us every single day. The rest will take care of itself in time. So be encouraged. If you feel that your work at the moment is mundane, just bring excellence to it. If you feel that your work isn't being witnessed, just keep bringing excellence to it. If you feel that what you're doing with your kids or your marriage, you know, just keep bringing the best you can to it each day. That's all that can be asked of you. All right. Well, God bless you, everybody. That's it for today. I'm going to get out of here and I'm going to go and execute on the things that are right in front of me, uploading this content, um, putting out a new brochure for speaking that's going to go out. I'm going to try and do that well. I got time with my kids later today. I got a bunch of stuff I got to do. I'm going to try and bring the best I can to it. So God bless you. You have this incredible potential and I am here to tell you that one of the ways that it gets actualized is not in some mystical distant future, it's now, it's today. All right, please make sure you've subscribed, hit those subscribe buttons, go and check out the other links, book me to speak, you want me to come and speak live, the links are under here. God bless you everybody, my name's Jonathan Doyle, this has been The Daily Message and I'm going to have another one for you tomorrow.